Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another magical video with me, Witch Victoria. I will be showing you in today's video how to make your very own Felix Felices. Now, this is advanced potion making stuff, guys, so you gotta do really well or else you're not gonna get invited to the slug club Christmas party. And I've already been invited to that, so to get on my level, you guys are gonna be recreating your very own DIY Felix Felices. Now for this DIY, you need a couple of things. You need clear glue, which you can pick up at Michael's or any crafting store. Um, this was like $1.99. Cheap, you know. Clear glue and gold mica. Um, gold mica is basically what they use in a lot of beauty products um, to give it that shimmering effect like highlights, um, lipsticks, eyeshadow, that kind of shebang. Um, it's a natural product, so it's really nice. It's not like harsh with a lot of chemicals. Um, you can use this to even make your own shimmering mist, um, like I have here. This I picked up from Urban Outfitters. It's just water and gold mica. That's literally all it is. So a couple of sprays with this. I mean, you have little gold flakes on your skin and you look luminous and glorious and it's great. Um, but you can make this yourself, so yeah. Um, but yeah, gold mica. I bought this on Amazon for about $10, I believe. Um, pretty cool. Um, nice packaging. Um, just be careful when you open it. It was a little hard for me to open. Um, so we kind of have this little healy situation going on here. So, um, but yeah, a little bit goes a long way. So you only need one. Um, if we're going to be recreating potions and using this for other things, literally one is fine. Trust me. She goes a long way. The next thing you'll need is a bottle to put your Felix Felicis in. So, um, I've seen a lot of different DIYs of Felix Felicis on the internet. Um, some people use square bottles, some people use rounded bottles, um, just a whole bunch of different bottles that I've seen people use. Um, but for today's video, we're going to be using this, well I'm going to be using this bottle. I got it from Michael's uh, crafting store. It's the closest I could get to getting a um, a bottle that looked like um, the Felix Felicis jar. Um, so yeah, this was like the closest thing I could get. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be using this bottle right here. But you can use any bottle you'd like. I mean, it's your you can make it however you'd like. Um, so yeah, we need our good bottle, and then we'll need twine. Um, twine to wrap it around the bottle's neck to give it m a more shelf, snape, potion-like look. Um, so this kind of looks like as if, you know, it was in Snape's c storage cupboard. Um, so yeah, that's all you need. If you want, you could put labels on it. Um, I did buy these from Michaels. They're just a little too big for this potion, so I did not um, put it on, but you can if you'd like. Um, you can even maybe cut this out and punch a little hole and then wrap it around the nozzle of this. Um, I just I just didn't really care to put a label on it because I feel like in the movie um, there was no label, so... I just kind of wanted to be as thorough as I possibly could with this. So yeah, you could do that if you'd like, um, however you guys want. All right. Um, oh, I did find, <laughs> I found those Felix Felicis jars that I really wanted, but they're like this big. Now I did fill this up with um, another ingredient that has escaped. Um, this is just gold shimmering glue. It's just glitter glue, honestly. That's all it is. Um, I just filled this up because uh, they're like little mini Felix Felicis, and I'm gonna use these for another DIY project. Um, you'll see in this video me filling this up, so to see how it looked and yeah. But you can get them on Amazon. I don't remember what I paid for these. I want to say I paid like. $10, maybe like seven or six to ten dollars. I want to say they came in this little package. Um, they're called Wish Glass Bottle Teardrop 
jars, vials, wish bottle. Um, so yeah, I filled these up with the gold glitter glue, which you can also, you're also going to use in this potion as well. Um, it does float to the bottom, um, but it's fine. It looks really cute. Um, the gold mica is really going to be the one that you need that's going to be doing all the work and giving it the sweet little gold shimmering potion kind of feel to it. Um, but, yeah. but you're more than welcome if you guys like the way that this kind of looked. Um, you guys could definitely fill up a bottle of this with this shimmering glitter glue that you can pick up at Michael's or any crafting store. But I liked the gold mica because I felt like it looked more authentic to the film. Um, I mean, in the film, it's like a clear, glossy liquid, but I mean, hey, this is as close as I could get to that. Now, like I said, I did see people using gold leaf. Um, I saw someone even using, instead of glue, um, gel, which was really interesting. I, I thought that was pretty smart. I mean, if you don't have glue, you can probably use just regular hair gel, um, clear hair gel. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so you can substitute that if you don't have clear glue. Um, oh, and you'll also need something to mix it with. Now I just use any old brush, like the end of like a, an actual like paintbrush um, to mix it. So you don't really have to get creative. I mean, this one's skinny, so I liked this one. I, this is the actual one that I used to mix it around with. Um, but yeah, those are the things you'll need. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And let's get into this potion. All right, so now we are ready to get started. So you're gonna take your bottle and we are going to start by filling it with glue. All right. Next, we're gonna take the glue. And we're gonna start filling it up. So we got about that much of glue, right? So now this is where we're going to take our gold mica and we are going to open it up and that's kind of what it looks like. It's very powdery. I'm going to take our little scooper. It did not come with a scooper. I got this from my Stevia um, <laughs> scooper. just this old kind of brush and then we're just gonna mix it I'm just gonna keep on mixing it the Pandora bracelet makes so much noise little consistency. Now we're gonna have ready for more glue. Next we're just gonna keep on adding the glue. Keep on 
Just keep mixing, just keep mixing, just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. And we are already getting that nice glowy look. Golden, liquidy look. Cute. Very, very cute. And next, we're just going to add more glue. So about three scoops is pretty much all it takes of the gold mica. I will also be linking the instructions um, for this below in the description. So if you want, you can just kind of read it and write it down in your advanced potion making book. So if you want, this is, you know, you don't have to. Uh, I just like to add a little bit of this shimmer just to make it extra magical. The only problem I have with this is that it does sink to the bottom. Um, so if you see on the one I remade, it kind of sinks. But I mean, it's fine. It looks really cute. I don't mind the fact that it sunk to the bottom. And I'm just gonna kind of mix that in there. it off. I go in with my finger. I mean, you can go in with a piece of paper, but I like to kind of clean it up a little bit. So I just take my finger and I kind of just go in there. Just clean it up a little bit. It's gonna settle, so you don't really have to worry about that. If you don't even wanna clean it up, you don't have to. Um, it will like all kind of settle down like this. You see how it's like, you can't even see anything. So you don't really have to do that, but well, I'm extra, so. And next we're gonna cork it. Look at that. So cute. The bubbles will all go away. Don't worry about that. They'll all settle down. But look at that. Awesome. Next, we are gonna take our twine and we are going to cut a piece off and use it to wrap it around the bottle. So I'll take about this much, stick up that much worth of twine. It's kind of always a lot, but it's okay. We're gonna cut it. Line. I'm gonna take our bottle and I'm gonna tie a little knot around it. Perfect. Oh my god, I 
can't tie knots. <sighs> All right. So, there it is. have it your own little vial of Felix Felicis looks so cool add a little bit more in this one than this one um, this one has a little bit less but that's fine I can always add a little more in here but yeah that is it your own vial of Felix Felicis have on the shelf now what I'm gonna do actually with those little Felix Felicis jars is I'm actually going to fill them up with the glitter glue because I'm going to be using these little Felix Felicis for a DIY project that I will be doing. Another DIY project. So, I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to pour that all in there. so great already. I think I'm actually going to put some clear glue in here just because the glue, oh, she's leaking. She is leaking all over the place. It's okay. I'm just going to take some clear glue though and just kind of push it all in there. I don't really want any bubbles. Cute. And then the cork it. And there it is. Little Felix Felicis. Now you can buy these on Amazon, like I said, fill them up with glitter glue and then use them for whatever other arts and crafts. You can put them in a jar and just display them. They're really, really cute. Um, you can use them in a shadow box um, as decoration. They are just super cute. I love it. Um, definitely gonna be filling up the rest, but yeah, there you have it. And that is the end of today's potion making class. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe, and if you want more potions, all right guys, that is it for class. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed your Felix Felicis Liquid Luck Potion. Now, like I said before, do not consume this. It won't bring you luck. It'll bring you to the hospital. <laughs> so this is strictly for <laughs> display purposes only. Um, <laughs> but let me know in the comments what's the next potion you would like for me to um, do a DIY for. I already have two in mind. So let me know what other potions you would like to see me create and maybe you might get your wish. Now, class will be in session every other week. So this week was the first episode of the little mini series of advanced potion making. Um, so next week there will be no DIY, but the following week from next week, you will see me. class will be in session. Um, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Um, I really enjoyed making this. It's so much fun. I'm, this is actually the first potion that is on my potion shelf that I've made or got. So it is very special. But yeah, thank you for hanging out with me, my magical and muggle community. And I will see you um, next week for another magical video. Take care. Bye.